In our last video, we realized we need thousands of volts to get across this gap, and we only have a 12 volt battery. How are we going to do that? Well, let's pause for a moment and see if we can grasp a concept. This is a rubber band, it's about 3 inches long. Okay, I can take it from 3 inches and make it 12 inches, or back to 3 again. As I stretch it, it gets narrower here, but it's still the same rubber band. In fact, this rubber band weighs approximately two one thousandths of a pound when it's 3 inches long. It weighs two one thousandths of a pound when it's 12 inches long. It's the exact same rubber band, I can just put it in a different form. When we talk about electricity, we talk about watts. You can use the term watts as a substitute for power. The formula for watts is amps times volts equals watts. Okay, often written A times V equals W. Now let's think about our battery for a moment here. This battery is, remember, amps times volts equals watts, a 600 amp battery times 12 volts. So this battery's total power is valued at 7,200 watts. Now pause for a moment. Imagine if I have the exact same battery, the same 7,200 watt power source, but instead of asking it to give me 12 volts, I ask it to give me 24 volts. What will happen? Well, let's pause and we'll do the math again. Remember, amps times volts equals watts. The battery as it sits right now is 600 amps times 12 volts. There's my 7200 watts. I have to keep the 7200 because it's the same battery, but I want 24 volts out of it, which means the amperage has to change. The formula comes out to say 300 amps times 24 volts equals 7200. So I can get this out of this battery. But a person might ask, can we really change voltage like that? And the answer is yes, we can. We do it all the time. The device we use to change voltage from one kind of voltage to another voltage is referred to as a transformer. The transformer we use in our car is called an ignition coil. 12 volts and about 5 amps goes in, thousands of volts and a tiny amount of amperage comes out the top. So if we work with that for a minute, remember amps times volts equals watts, 5 amps times 12 volts goes in, so this is carrying approximately 60 watts of power. I'm looking for a 10,000 volt spark, and I've still only got 60 watts. What happens to the amperage? The amperage falls to 6 thousandths of an amp, okay, and that's where we go. Now, somebody might ask, how much voltage is required to fire a spark plug? Well, the voltage required to get across the barrier is referred to as the breakdown voltage. It breaks down the barrier to get to where it needs to go. There is no simple answer as to how much breakdown voltage will be called for because it changes. Under some conditions, it'll take as little as five or 6,000 volts and that'll be enough to overcome the resistance and make the jump. Under other conditions, 10,000 volts, 20,000 volts, 30,000 volts or more may be needed. In our next video, we're gonna talk about how we actually get that kind of voltage.